researchers and everyone who participated in the clinical trials. We're grateful for the integrity of the process, the rigorous review and testing that's led to millions of people around the world already being vaccinated safely. But the vaccine rollout in the United States has been a dismal failure thus far. And in today's briefing, we discussed five things, five things we'll do in an attempt to turn things around. First, we will immediately work with states to open up vaccinations to more priority groups. The process of establishing priority groups is driven by science, but the problem is the implementation has been too rigid and confusing. The second thing we're going to change, if we're getting more people vaccinated, then we need more vaccination sites. That's where we're going to harness the full resources of the federal government to establish thousands of community vaccination centers. The third change we're going to make is we're going to fully activate the, pharmaceutical, the, the pharmacies across the country to get the vaccination into more arms as quickly as possible. The fourth thing we're going to do is we're going to use the full strength of the federal government to ramp up supply of the vaccines. As I said before, we'll use the Defense Production Act to work with private industry to accelerate the making of materials needed to supply and administer the vaccine. Fifth, we will always be honest and transparent about where we stand, both the good news as well as the bad. We're going to make sure state and local officials know how much supply they'll be getting and when they can expect to get it so they can plan. This will be one of the most challenging operational efforts ever undertaken by our country. But you have my word. And we will manage the hell out of this operation. But as I said last night, we need funding from Congress to make this happen. And I'm optimistic. I'm convinced the American people are ready to spare no effort and no expense to get this done.